welcome to the Paul Wallace channel. In these short stories of origins, I'm going to be sharing some anomalous stories from the news, strange phenomena in the world today, and asking how they relate to our world mythologies and ancestral narratives around the world. How does what we experience today relate to what our ancestors had to tell us? And I'd like to know what you think. So I'm going to ask a question at the end of each one so that you can dive into the comments and we can get into a conversation. Please subscribe and click on the bell for all notifications. Colby Marshall is a cattle farmer from East Oregon. In 2019, he reported to the county sheriff that he had found a bull on his property which had been very strangely mutilated. When he found it, it looked like a plush toy that had had all the innards removed. It was like it was deflated. And when he looked closer, he could see that the tongue and genitals had been removed. And yet there was not one drop of blood on that carcass, so much so that there were no birds of prey or scavengers around that corpse to feed off the meat of the animal, which would be very, very strange for a dead animal lying out in the sun in East Oregon. He reported it to the sheriff and of course learned that it was part of a much bigger pattern throughout the USA, France, Germany, and Belgium. Each time the cow or bull is found with udders, genitals, tongue removed, and there is not a drop of blood on the scene. The things have been removed with surgical precision, but by whom? American law enforcement have investigated the possibility that it might be groups involved in occult practices who are doing these things, but no evidence has been found to point to that conclusion. This very bizarre pattern of cattle mutilations is not new and was first brought to a wider attention by the work of researcher Linda Moulton Howe. But what is the explanation? Who would be cutting up cattle around the world from country to country in such a bizarre and precise manner? What could possibly be the motivation? Well, of course, it is possible that it is occult groups and we simply haven't found the evidence for it. They've found a way to cover their tracks. But the suggestion has been made that this may be part of some kind of a hybridization program being conducted by a presence we know nothing about. Now, does that relate to anything that our ancestors have told us? Yes, it does. As early as Genesis chapter 6, we can find a story in which beings come and visit planet Earth from somewhere else. We're not told where, we're not told who they are, other than that they are a bit more advanced and powerful than we are. And they come because they are looking for genetic material, presumably for some kind of breeding or hybridization program. Now that Genesis 6 story repeats in the Book of Enoch, in the Sumerian narratives, in the Mesoamerican narratives, Indian, Norse, Greek, Celtic, African. You can go all around the world and find that our ancestors had stories about visitors who were very interested in human and animal DNA and messing about with it. Go to ancient Egypt and to ancient Greece and stories of animal hybridization begin to come into the picture. So what do you think? Do you think these ancient stories refer to something real or are they pure fable? Is what was done in the distant past anything to do with what might be happening today around disappearing animals and mutilated cattle? Jump into the comments here, let's get into a conversation and explore what we think is going on here. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell for all notifications and I'll see you next time.